Welcome to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is the Jedi Knight Luke event video. This is going to be covering tiers 3 through 8 at the minimum Relic 3 requirement. The original conception of this video was it's going to be two separate videos, tier 3 through 5, tier 6 through 8. But after completing tier 5, I decided to use my crystals, gear up Lando, and unlock Jedi Knight Luke right away. So because of that, I am cutting out tiers four and five in order to speed up the video so that it doesn't get overly long. I am going to show my mods after the successful attempt. So if you're looking specifically for the mods, it is going to be after I complete a tier. That being said, we are going to jump into ongoing action on tier three and then finish out the video. Oh, Vader's about to go. All right, we're jumping out of there. I'm going to tweak my mods a little bit. I really think we want Han to have guard. I tweaked Rolo's modding a little bit, brought her speed down from 280 to 272 by switching uh, primaries to the triangle went to a protection primary instead of a offense or damage primary so I think that should be enough for guards to now be on Captain Han perfect See if we get as lucky as last time. Yeah, not as lucky as last time. Now let's remember to spread the confusion. Perfect. Fusion over here. Perfect timing. Oh no. Let's heal up Chewy. Give me better RNG. No. Should have used the special. Come on. That's a little better. OK. 
Okay. Now let's take down the ops. He's got buff immunity. Let's throw that on trooper. Perfect. All right, this is getting close. Yes. Which one? This is turn meter, right? But she's not at full health. I should get some. Okay, whatever. Nice. Okay, so that was, what, three f attempts? Playing around with the turn meter, I think four attempts, actually. Really, it just seems get guard onto Han, get the speed where it needs to be. Before we move on to that next one, let me show where the mods, what the successful mods look like. Let's do it this way. So the successful mod sets were these. I'll jump in here. I think this is a little bit more informative. So health protection speed. Here's what we had on each one. Only three six dot mods, and even like this one, the primary I found to be more important than the speed. That was the mod I switched out and got slower. And actually, let's do these stats so you can see what the bonuses were with from the mods. Captain Han. His mod set and bonuses. And here's what each one looks like individually. Again, only three six dot mods. And then over here with Han and Chewie. Only one six dot mod here. More protection would have been nice there, but I got away with it. And C3PO set. Only two six dot mods. Okay, now we have that ship tier. So we won't be playing through this entire footage, but I do want to say for anyone who is having trouble with this tier of the event, that it's not that difficult, but it is very RNG dependent. It's really gonna come down to, does the Y-Wing land shield disruption onto the Sith Bomber? Because if it doesn't, then the Sith Bomber takes way too long to take out and you might lose a ship. And it's gonna come down to the RNG of how often does the Falcon assist? When the Falcon doesn't assist enough, you're not going to take out the ships quickly enough to win. Other than that, don't do the Falcon's maneuver ability that prevents it from being targeted. You want the Falcon to get targeted and avoid foresight when you can. Give it a couple shots and you'll beat it before you know it. A quick new opening before we jump into my footage from Tier 6. It really comes down to mods. The only mods that matter are going to be 
Rolo, Lando, and Chewie's C-3PO can have no mods. So put the potency onto Chewbacca, then get the damage and speed up on to Rolo and Lando. I'll let the other footage play, but I wanted this clear opening to begin with. Your skills are quite... Certainly lucky that you are on Okay, I just wrapped up tier six of the event. What it really came down to was mods. I just changed up my mods and then repeated it three or four times after wasting an hour with a different mod set. So Rolos, I haven't really messed with all that much, although I gave her a little bit more potency with this mod, but otherwise gave her protection, speed, Tried to make her fast, give her protection where I could, and gave her, and looked for potency secondaries where I could to just boost up that potency as much as possible. We got, let's go to this other view here. And then with those stats, getting 31, 32% extra potency up to 79. At the speed up as much as I could, and then the protection and health here. And that's the damage and crit chance and other stats. Now one of the things I realized a little earlier on that didn't get recorded was C-3PO's 
Mods are irrelevant. You don't even need to put mods on him. Here we go. So C-3PO during the event had mods left off. All of three Baka stats are from Chewbacca. So Chewbacca is the only one that matters. So what I did here was I gave him a bunch of speed and really just prioritized that and gave him as much potency I could without giving him a potency all potency sets. So got that up to 76%. And there's those stats. So we're looking at offense mod or plus 20 on there, plus 20 here. Protection, potency, protection. And then here was another speed set. So with Lando, I changed up from a crit chance set or pure crit chance set and put crit damage on him as well. Here's the speed. My protection and health went down by making that change. And here's the damage and the crit chance, but I was still able to keep a pretty high crit chance. Now with the set itself, crit chance triangle, offense cross, Really, it came down to putting more potency onto Chewbacca to make sure Blind was landing enough, and then upping Lando's damage. Before we begin Tier 7, I want to say that I had more trouble with Tier 7 than I did with Tier 6. Tier 6 really came down to figuring out how to set up the mods properly. Once they were set up properly, I didn't have a lot of trouble. With Tier 7, I watched a number of videos, I played with a bunch of different mod suggestions, and it still took me about an hour to, to close to two hours before I beat tier seven. There's a big RNG component to this and it is a big pain, at least for me. Some people I saw who play it at the same Relic 3 as I did and they beat it in a couple of attempts. So I don't know why it took me so long. I was doing the same things as everyone else. So your results may vary here.
That was an absolute nightmare. Most people do not have problems with this event. I had problems with this event. This tier, rather. I saw... I'm going to bring up quickly my mods for that tier. So here are my CLS mods that I used for tier 7. I put as much speed as I could on and tried to make sure I could do as much offensive damage as I could. Crit damage was pretty critical. I tried doing it with crit chance with offense. But none of those things worked out for me here are the stats that I finished with. I had to restart this over and over again. I just could not get the RNG that I saw other people did. I went through YouTube. I saw people with the same Relic 3, worse mods, not having the trouble I did with that tier. I spent way more time on tier 7 than I did on tier 6. Okay, so I do have all the Zetas with Vader. I may need to put more potency on them though. Finally, that took me hours. Um, Relic 3 is so Chewy, CLS, Vader, they're all worthy of having higher relics on. It would certainly make things easier on tier 6 and tier 7, but it's certainly possible to beat the entire event with just the minimal investment. And now I'm completely out of gear after I've spent, having spent 12,000, more than that. No, I spent way more than that. I spent, I spent 16,000 crystals getting, getting Jedi Knight Luke. I had 24,000 before I started. I'm around 8,000 now. And now I'm going to spend the next several weeks just trying to replenish my resource hoard. Oh, and my, my mods are devastated. I'm, I'm going to have to spend a long time fixing my mods. I can't even do light side geos right now. I think I can go to seven. There's nothing here, right?
Netflix. Okay. Before this event returns, I'm going to make another version of this video that's more edited down and has written tips and strategies like the Lowish Viable Team series that I've been putting out. I want to highlight the mod strategies, the RNG strategies, uh, things to be aware of during your playthroughs. Like with Tier 7, the things that weren't highlighted in this video was... Uh, the call to action, it's helpful to time that for when the dots aren't on to Luke. If you have a playthrough where the Vader is landing a bunch of dots, it becomes a little bit more difficult since a culling blade can take you out. And those elements on the wall that are thrown at you, there is an order to them with each attempt, but every attempt the order changes so if it's like left middle right it'll stay consistently left middle right so we're going to wrap it up there this has been still plays be safe out there and be excellent to each other